326 RE Cruiser here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is a uh, this is a beautiful fifth wheel. It's one of my favorite couples coaches, but it does have a nice king size hide bed in the back uh, if you have you know grandkids or guests or anything like that. But more on that when we get inside. Uh, notice that they have uh, what I call the bald, uh, bald eagle body paint and. Uh, I love the look of it because it looks like it's moving even when it's sitting slow, but a lighter nose cap like this isn't going to chalk like a darker nose cap that you commonly find. This is the big brother to the Cruiser Air and it's everything the Cruiser Air is and then some. For instance, the Rotoflex uh, pin box on here, it's basically a shop absorber. Uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of that uh, jumps and jolts from uh, traveling out of it when you're going down the road. Uh, another difference from the Cruiser Air is that down here, you'll notice that you have a dual battery hookup. But what's really cool, I only have a single jump box hooked up right now just to the right hand battery and it's still powering the coach because they have it smart wired through its own relay here. So if you have one or two batteries, it sorts it all out for you. You don't have to get cute and cross wire stuff. And now because they separate the battery boxes on the sides, the whole baggage door here you see is easy access for usable storage. It's a really intelligent use of the space. Um, this has the uh, ground control leveling system, electric leveling system, basically automatic levelers. Uh, now you notice that we have one, two power awnings on here. The second power awning on the face of that slide out is an add-on that we like to put on these. Um, you know, a, a coach this size, that, that the third slide over here on the door side, it's really nice to give you that big living room, but it cuts your awning in half. So we double that and put a second awning back on it. Now what's really cool, both awnings are power operated. Both awnings have LED lights built right into them, as you see here. Uh, so you actually get double the lit patio space. Both awnings are also um, pitch adjustable. So if it is raining a little bit, you can leave the awnings out. Uh, on a cruiser here, you'll notice that all of your windows do open for ventilation. Um, there is LED nose lighting. I forgot to turn that on. Darn it. I always forget something. Um, there's Well, I guess the reason being there's a lot to talk about on these cruisers. Uh, they have a true high gloss uh, exterior skin here. I'll stand right next to it and you can easily see reflections of other things beside it right there. You can It looks like, uh, you know, when a mountain's overlooking a, a still lake, kind of that look. Now, uh, underneath the fiberglass, they have a double layer of Luan that is offset. So you you don't see the, the sheets in the walls like you will uh, a lesser built brand. One thing I do like is notice here that your baggage doors are self-supporting and that's on both sides of the coach. You don't have to, uh, you know, keep it lifted up. You don't have to juggle it with your head. It holds itself up. And you do have a big th uh, pass through storage, even though this is not a drop frame. So you still have a walk-in bedroom and bathroom, still have good storage in here. Uh, it's so big, in fact, this box that looks small in here, that's a 40 inch flat screen TV box. I threw that in there just to give you an idea of scale and scope. Uh, 10 gallon water heater, which is like 22 gallons per hour. Basically best water heater there is. It actually recharges more hot water per hour than the 12 gallon water heater you find in big fifth wheels. And you think, well, that doesn't make sense. Long story short, the 12 is just inefficient in comparison to the 10. There is no advantage to going to the 12. 10 is the best. Uh, all of your windows, I think I mentioned, will open for uh, ventilation. Notice your roofing up here. You see how that roof membrane wraps over the side. That's another uh, quality uh, indicator there and leak prevention method. The roofing on this is, uh, uh, I don't know the exact word they have for, but long story short, 50% stronger than most things in this class. It holds something like 300 pounds per square foot. It's extreme. The um, rack you see in the, or pardon me, the, the uh, accessory hitch you see on the back here is good for things like bike racks. That's what I was going for. That is another option we like to add to those. I've mentioned a couple options that are on these. Um, you know, I like to point those out. Uh, and also keep in mind that not every single uh, 326RE is going to look exactly like this video. Uh, we put this video together here to really show you what a cruiser RV is all about and the advantages of owning one of these and the fun parts of them as well. But, um, you know, some of them might look different. Always double check your picture tour, check the listing that we write up, make sure it's the one you're looking to take home. I like to show you under here because these are enclosed underneath, they are forced air heated, not, not uh, radiant heat, forced air heated into the underbelly straight from the furnace with a 35,000 BTU furnace. And that goes right along with the Polar Tech package here. Long story short, zero degree tested and, and successful. Um, one of the really, really, really neat things I love on these is this, uh, I call it the how-to touchpad. Uh, let me turn on the lights here. Speaking of which, the lights in this control center are all backlit, which I think is so cool because uh, if your awning is rolled up, you can see if your awning light is on or not. That's a really neat feature. Now this is 
basically an Android tablet. You see how it kicks on right there. You can control your awning, uh, lighting, slide outs. If you have uh, Wi-Fi at your park, it is Wi-Fi enabled. You can use it like a web browser. There are uh, instructions here on how to do everything from, I mean, as, as extreme as removing the slide out from your sidewall. There's an instruction manual in here to do that. Um, you see right here, you can control things like uh, awnings. Just easy extend, retract once it syncs up. There you go. Push that button. And check that out so it's not only just a how-to manual but it is also a wireless controller for things like stabilizers slide outs lights awnings just about everything actually the wind's going to close this door for me that was kind of you thank you mother nature uh anyway so that's kind of the long and short of that now it is fully removable it does slide out of here so if you want to take it uh you know to your chair and use it like a browser you can do that too um there's a nice coat closet right when you walk in the door, and that's something I point out whenever I can because not enough uh, RVs, fifth wheel or travel trailer or motorized do have a nice little uh, closet right when you walk in. Um, the uh, primary air conditioner is a standard 15,000 BTU, which is 50% stronger than a normal 13.5. Uh, we will sometimes add the second air conditioner to the bedroom, which you will spot in this video, but again, that is an option not present on every single model. Uh, we have an 8 cubic foot refrigerator freezer in a cruiser, not a 6 cubic foot, 33% larger. Uh, you'll see that we've upgraded this to the solid surface countertops. That is an option. And this island here in this kitchen is awesome. It has so much storage space in it. It has little uh, bonus pantry storage here. Let me shine some light down in there for you. Just to give you an idea, a lot of extra deep pantry space in there. We have a pair of drawers, and you see that all of your drawers are full plywood box construction. And we have hardwood door fronts on these. And check this out, they actually gave us not just a trash can, but a place to put it. How cool is that? Very few RVs do that, and it is something that unfortunately has been overlooked for many, many years. Now there is a very, very generous pantry right here in the kitchen. And you see that that is the entire height of the slide out. But what's really cool is the shelving is removable. You can make these shelves as tall or short as you need. Now again, in terms of construction, the Craftsman down at Cruiser, they get the job done seriously well. They really do an amazing job down there. Um, I've, I've pounded on a lot of cruisers. I've never heard anything in the fifth wheel. I've only heard on my hand. Uh, the uh, freestanding table here, all the seats have little storage pockets. My grandmother called them sewing seats. And this entire thing does kind of shift forward so you can um, add extra people there as required. I do like too that in the slide outs, you have switches for your overhead lights. Uh, so you don't have to, uh, you know, like, stand up and, and flip pancake lights all the time you have lots of big windows in here now they have these really cool pull down night shades they do such a good job uh, when that shade is down even though you can see out of it a little bit people cannot see in the color scheme we're looking at here today is called espresso though again uh latte cappuccino espresso all three different color schemes can be found on this model our pictures usually show the color that this trailer is actually equipped with. Never hesitate to call, though. We're here to answer questions and make sure you're getting the right one. Notice that we did upgrade to the recliners from the standard barrel chairs. This is Black Label brand furniture. The recliners, the hide -a bed in the back, the uh, master bed mattress. It's Black Label furniture. It's residential grade. Uh, basically, it's to me, as far as I can tell, it's all but identical to Denver. You're just not paying for the name. That's something I like. Um... Speaking of hide beds this is a full rear wall hide bed This is a king-size hide bed A lot of manufacturers have um, two uh, cushions that pull out into a hide bed which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's good, and then there's better, and that's what you see here. Uh, your stereo is uh, all-in-one. It does everything. It's your DVD player. It is Bluetooth-enabled. Outside speakers, everything. 40-inch TV you saw on the box. That is included. And I love that this thing's on this big honking swing arm. So if you want to face it, toward the rear sofa, or you wanna leave it facing here, or if you wanna make it face over toward your dinette, you can make it do anything you want because of that. Um, the uh, fireplace down here is an electric space heater, and that works to knock down the cold air in here without burning up all your propane. And again, I just, I love the big, comfortable, open nature of this. And there is, there is something classical about this that sort of takes me back a little bit wistfully to like the 
I don't know, the uh, early to mid 2000 days in the Jayco designer in Keystone, Montana. There's a classic design to this and there's a there's a character here that I don't see a lot anymore and I really like it. And I think it's because of stuff like this. This big sweeping staircase that goes upstairs with three easy steps, not two big tall steps. And these are carpeted. These aren't just wood. And I know a lot of people want to get carpet out of their living room, but if you're just wearing socks and you're going down these stairs and it's just wood or linoleum, you're going to slip and fall and bust a hip. Notice, too, it's not just carpeted. They even build in a handrail for you. Because if this is not built in, there would be nothing but bead foam in this wall. You couldn't you couldn't just add this after the fact. You would just rip it right out of the wall. Um, this is an option that we like to put into these is the Max Air fan in the kitchen. Simply push the button. It turns itself on, opens the lid. You see it right there. Push it again. It shuts itself off, closes the lid. It just does everything for you. It's so much easier. I'm going to kick off a couple of these lights real quick to conserve some battery power, but we will turn some lights back on up here instead. Oh, there we go. Hallway. Now this hallway uh, right between the bedroom and the bathroom, shockingly, is still part of the bedroom slide out. See this framework that goes all the way through? This whole thing is the slide out. So you have an extra giant uh, closet here that normally you simply would not have. Now what's awesome is if you look at the bottom, there are shelves down there. These, This has adjustable shelving that giveaways, those little notches right there that you see. So, uh, you know, this is extra linen space, clothing space, space that you just normally wouldn't get if it didn't have that big extended slide out. I've seen models that come in a dollar cheaper, a pound lighter. There's reasons why. They don't have the nicer stuff like that. Speaking of nicer stuff, porcelain stool, not plastic. Big sink in here, and notice that there's actually a little toe kick down there. You can actually stand right up to the thing, and a super deep medicine cabinet that can actually do things like um, hold hair dryers and whatnot. Now, because there's not a lot of room for a door to swing here, they did put a sliding pocket door, so it is easier to get to. Um, up here in the bedroom, I do like to point out, not only is the second air present in this, uh, but when you get it from the factory, it comes with its, first of all, the second AC is centralized. It's not just a bedroom air. Both ACs work together. However, they do both tie into the same, uh, or they each have their own um, thermostat, so they can still operate independently if you want them to. It's the best of both worlds. It's very, very cool. Uh, now, this is designed with a queen bed. Uh, no king uh, upgrade or anything here. That's just not the type of fifth wheel they're gunning for, but it is, uh, you see that it is a full length queen bed. I'm actually having trouble keeping it all in the frame at one time. So it is 80 inches long, queen sheets do fit it, and because this slide is so long, you see all the extra open space and storage you get here with things like power outlets for CPAP machines. Now you have this really slick spa style, oops, we're locked at the bottom. The uh, These sliding doors up front, by the way, lock down here so you can't accidentally fly the thing open going down the road. But um, here, let me just go ahead and open this, pardon me. Oh, shoot. There we go. Give you a good idea of the, just kind of the size and the scale and everything here. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for a moment. Notice too, they have extra little boot boxes hidden. And this is symmetrical. You see the same thing on the other side. And we do have a TV mount location right here with a big giant dresser. And check out the size of the window here in the bedroom. Just pouring in tons of light. All of your lights inside are LEDs. I think I mentioned that, but if I didn't, there you go. And it's just, it's such a beautiful coach. There's so many good things going on with it. Um, and it's the usability. Now, what shocks me is I was comparing um, floor plans that are similar in our Cruiser and Cruiser Airlines to other brands out there. And we were coming in thousands less for basically the same layout. And I really couldn't tell you why other than, I guess we just work closer with people. Um, you know, it's, it's just call us for a price if you're on our website. There's a click here for price option. That comes straight to you. You don't have to wrestle, you know, arm wrestle with us. We don't have one price with a trade and one price without. We do straight up sales here. No smoke, no mirrors. We have full parts and accessories. Camping's supposed to be about fun. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be about going out with your family. And we haven't forgotten that. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.